Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Hollow Queen episode. Now, we're recording this on Wednesday, so technically we're a day early, but you guys are going to get it on Halloween, so we're going to be a bunch of Hollow Queens. Mm-hmm. Happy Hollow Queens Eve. Yes. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Shallow Queens too. Shallow, 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 Shallow Queens. Queens. Whichever. The sequel. Chris is here. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Hello, Chris. Elliot. Elliot. Oh, I was Elliot. talking to the guy standing yeah. behind you. Fire, you right? guys say that damn stupid joke every time. Every fucking, <laughs> every fucking time. He's gonna, really he's gonna pull it out every time. Mm-hmm. Every Obviously, time. You, that's uh, Mr. Viegas across the. Hello, across the everybody. table, Mr. and that's uh, Mr. Mr. Super Viega. Americano mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. <laughs> saying that it's, it's in Espanol, mm-hmm. Espanol, Espanol, Espanol. Mm-hmm. Espanol. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're gonna rock some quesadillas later. <laughs> Hola, David. ¿Cómo estás? Mm-hmm. Hola. We have uh, Miss David Marino. White. Okay, oh, David Blanco. Blanco. One, <laughs> One, two, three. three. David, David Blanco. Blanco. <laughs> Happy Halloween, bitches. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Mm-hmm. Happy Swallowing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Who swallow? <clears throat> so David and I are going to be flying. Swallow Queen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so David and I are going to be flying out to Atlanta tomorrow on Hallows <laughs> on Halloween. What are you bitches going to be doing? What are you bitches going to be doing for Halloween while we are away? Well, we're not coming to your hot what ass kind of apartment. Sh- yes, it's really. just it hot is, in here. It's hot as balls. Oh, my people. God. I had to take my sweater off. Look at some windows or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, 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 no, you oh, no, 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 you didn't. No shit from your watch. Mm-hmm. We live in 2019. Control it from your watch, bitch. Right. <laughs> what, you have to push it on? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Technology. It's on, do not disturb. You need an Apple Watch. Oh, oh wait, you don't have an iPhone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you need, I like let's start with an iPhone. You need an iPhone. Um, so you don't have an Apple Watch. I, I don't have an Apple Watch. Or, mm-hmm. so oddly enough, I do have a pair of AirPods. <laughs> but you don't have an iPhone? <laughs> but I don't have an iPhone. Can you use those with an Android? Yeah, yeah. they, they hook up through Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Oh, but I, my God, I'm straight in the open window. Did she say he's straight? I don't even want to look. You've been you've been slacking off on your kegels, haven't you? You work it, honey. He's straight as like. Uh, Meanwhile, his neighbor's windows right. are all open. <laughs> they're all here, yes. and they're all going outside to stay on the sidewalk to watch Joel get fucked in the window. <laughs> the bitch has officially broken a nail. Everyone has their grumpy pants on today. No, I don't. Oh. What are you talking Not about? Not everyone. Me and Carlos don't have our grumpy no, pants we on. Don't have our grumpy pants. And on. from what I can tell, David is in. Remarkably high spirits. Yes, he, he is. Been, he's going on vacation. He, has been, he is laughing, talking. He has been sprightly. Yes. I'm going to be on vacation. Downright sprightly hours. since he walked through the door. He mm-hmm. sure was. I'm mm-hmm. so impressed. He was flying through the door. I was flying to get here on time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Mary Poppins? Yes. Well, no. Almost. More like one of those little fairies that we sprinkles behind when they're flying. Like Fern Gully. Yes, like Fern yeah. Gully. Okay. Oh my God. I was <laughs> just thinking yesterday. I, I I actually I searched it on Hulu. Oh wow! And it is on Hulu, and I so I, I watched you said it earlier that you don't use the internet to find your stuff. I don't. Hulu is not the internet. Is there a phone? It, it is. I don't think it Hulu is, works yeah. without the internet. It works with the internet. It doesn't work. With you. <laughs> so <laughs> you're right. So you're right. Don't you're exactly right. That's a so, you're right. Well, Hulu uses the internet. Oh. Charles not does you. not oh. use the internet. Well, then, that's so, okay. so you use apps. No one use uses the internet, internet to get your information. Because okay. if I use, like, if I'm looking up something that's on Google, I'm actually using a web browser yeah. to get to Google. So really, I'm not really using the internet. Well, no, you are web browser. if you're on the internet. No, it's on the internet. Google's no. a website, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I'm using a Google's web browser a website to get to too. Google. So, yeah, Hulu has potato, a website, potato. and that is a website. Is there are things that use the internet? What is the fuck is everyone fucking attacking? <laughs> so Randy's not here, so we have to attack the other dinosaur in the room? Like, Right. Okay. Just <laughs> 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 Shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> slash tag, I fucking love you, Randy, and we wish you were here. Mm-hmm. Yes, we miss you. Randy is one of the individuals who was supposed to be here on this Hello Queen's Eve, mm-hmm. but could not make it, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. You know, you the funny thing is love? that people are going to go, why is there a sink running in the background uh, <laughs> I had to of their what? show? <laughs> That's it's not a faucet. Is, is Mr. Running Mr. water. Mr. Running. Mr. Spunkmeyer mm-hmm. over there. Oh, can you hear oh. that? Mm-hmm. Miss oh. Farah over here. Farrah. Uh-huh. Ah. Sweetie. Oh, Sweetie. <laughs> the blue is sinking into your brain there. <laughs> Sweetie, these microphones pick up when I'm getting out of the chair. So, of course, they heard you <laughs> well, I turning on water. the water. You hear mm-hmm. that chirp all the time. You mm-hmm. hear the chirp you here so often. He's mm-hmm. just trying to get clean. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know She's got hot thirsty, data after you. I want you. Oh. To be, I want you to be thirsty and clean. We want you mm-hmm. all to be thirsty we want on you. this Hollow's Queen's Hollow Queen's Eve, mm-hmm. right? Yes, the apostrophe thirsty. after the end. Yes. Mm-hmm. Happy like Halloween. Yeah. Yes. So wait, has anyone seen any scary movies? Any good ones? No. Do the last time good I scary saw movies one... still exist. No. Yes. The yeah. last time I saw one was actually uh, The Ring, and I ran out of the uh, theater. I think that was the last like legit movie that scared me. Which one? When that the ring? Girl, the ring. When she climbed out of the TV? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that, my that God. Yeah. Or, Let like, tell you, the I one that got me was when she was in the closet, like... Was that in the first Did one? you spell that? I think. Yeah. I didn't even... <laughs> I, didn't even <laughs> I, thought saw, I thought Saw, the first Saw, when the guy gets up, I thought mm-hmm. that freaked me out. I don't know. I'm kind was of he possible. all, like, Saw? To the chair or something? No, the, have, you, have you seen Saw, the first one? Yeah, I mean, but that he's was like, He's like the dead guy in the middle of the floor <laughs> yeah. throughout the whole movie. Oh, and at the end, he the gets The third guy in the room, yeah, like, and he takes the pig shit. mask off. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kind of partial to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The good ones, the old ones, the good, yeah. they're the best. Mm-hmm. The well, original the trilogy? Really like, with your brain, the original. They really, they really fuck with your brain. The second one was those. terrible. Yeah. Oh, the original Child's Play movies? Oh, Child's Play, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But I just thought they were funny. I didn't really I, think that they were that scary. Well, they you. weren't really scary. They I, were just funny. I, mean, I was. I mean, you were really. I was first like first four movie. when the first one. I thought that was scary. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hey, but you were allowed to watch it at age four. Mm-hmm. Chucky says Aunt Jackie's a bitch, and she got what she deserved. Mm-hmm. It's more fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and you kept. It got really bad with like Bride of Chucky and then mm-hmm. Seed of Chucky. Well, yeah. Those well, guys. yeah, of course. You involve Jennifer Tilly in those movies, and yeah, it's going to get really bad. <laughs> I don't bad. watch any of that. Mm-hmm. See, I'm a, when it comes to movies, I, I get really into the movie. Like, I leave, live the movie. Mm-hmm. And so, and y'all have seen I'm a scary cat. As soon as you scare me, It sounded I more like a my, scaredy dog. Uh, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, so, <laughs> with that said, I mean, when, when I saw The Exorcist, I slept with the entire house lit. For life. See, The Exorcist didn't scare me. It was Four like a day long party. I didn't Everyone think The was Exorcist lit. was a scary. Well, day. I think I lit. saw The Exorcist when I was seven, and yeah, I didn't sleep for a week. Yes, it's not that well, old. But now that I'm older, it's from 1973. 1972. 1973, you were. Wait, Exorcist? 72, 73. Something like that. Well, she's the oldest queen to be in the room, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> Okay, there. Calm it down, girl. <laughs> Eight, six, seven. Calm it down. Calm it down. It's not, like, Eight, six, seven. it's not like you're ten years younger than me, girl. Calm it down. Girl, there are, there girl is she, she is... Mm-hmm. There's a, she's 37. Mm-hmm. I'm 38. Who's 37? Who's 37? I am 30, 38. Oh, 38. 38. So, no, he is not dead. ten years younger than you. He is... Twelve teen. No, no, no. Here. I was talking to David about that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wasn't. No. Time out, girl. No. <laughs> Miss you older no. than I am. <laughs> By a year. Good lord. A Come year in and two weeks. A year and two weeks. Ooh. Yeah. I'm this many. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but you were saying that you're the the um uh, elder of mm-hmm. the group. Oh, good Lord. The first time I touched him, I guess I should have went. The first time I touched him, I guess I should have went to jail. Good Lord. Calm down, girl. It's just oh, a year or two touched. weeks. The rest, of us just got, the, the rest of us just got harassed, but you got touched. We were young. One person's touched, another person's harassed. You know? We were young. <laughs> Lots we of cocaine was involved. <laughs> it's safe to say we have all been touched <laughs> by Joel. In one way or another. One way or another. We've all been touched, yes. And mm. I have two Profoundly. Mm-hmm. 
And you, you know, my live stream, my live stream was to graphically touch yourself. No, my live stream was to <laughs> to be a dirty old man, and then I realized that now in this in this day and age, you're you living your fucking old dream. Old dream. Yeah, uh, you can't be that anymore. You're living the dream. So you you know you have to use a little bit more romance now. You have to. You have to work a little harder for it. I feel like this is going to break down like we're going to have you. some soft guitar. You gotta work a little harder. <laughs> Just a little bit mm-hmm. harder. Mm-hmm. That's right, baby. Bring it on down. <laughs> oh, God. You sure are? <laughs> Let's get mm. it on. Oh. Um, anyways. Ooh. I like the way that Elliot is eating that banana. Ooh, the room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he takes the whole thing. Look at that. that that's a Actually, I was going to say, he's mm-hmm. kind of pussyfooting it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he Actually, is. Mm-hmm. I like eating bananas in public because people are like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, does he know that he's supposed to unwrap it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, actually, Elliot, actually, uh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody's getting excited. <laughs> It's a banana. Actually, <laughs> actually, David White has uh, a trick when it comes to bananas to keep them fresher. Oh, I think oh, you have to saran wrap it. Yeah, you saran you no. you saran. <laughs> well, no, you take those those free tie up bags they give you at the gay bar, and you. <laughs> oh, wait, I think those are called work. condoms. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what I what I, I always wondered what those work. were for, <laughs> and now it makes sense because. It looks just like They're a banana. banana wrappers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do not find that at home. <laughs> banana wrappers. That just sounds funny. Mm-hmm. Do you know a banana is the only fruit that splits evenly into three equal parts? Wait, what? Um... Can I see a section of your banana? No. I mean, I'll just... <laughs> 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 that was a plug right there on the table. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. That knife. Okay, okay so you know that he has people has actually banana unwrap issue. bananas upside down. Okay, so he's the unwrapping the banana as we speak. And he's I'm doing his thumb into the center of it. Yes, we're doing side by side play action and on the banana, and there we go. Uh, One, two. Oh, look at that! And it is equal. Uh, it is three because equal parts. parts. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, work. Wait, yes. a lot of work just to eat a banana. I know. It's a right? really bruised banana. It's not normally this wait, messy. Mm-hmm. Somebody likes. Bananas and gorillas. Like, what is the point? Okay, you know what? Why bother? It's just one of those odd statistics that you learn. Mm-hmm. The banana anyway. had a good week. Don't call it bruised. It Wait, just had a really good week. It into three parts. No, tell me. No, if it, you actually mm-hmm. actually banana, legitimately the has a bruised. seam. What's bruised is really? the, the yeah. peel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the banana is still very. Oh my God, what is that thing you're cutting the right that thing point? with? That Jesus is the C R K T, the Canyon River Tools Rip Snort Pocket Cleaver. Now, what do I do? Do I just break it? Look, it'll mm-hmm. she's, she's such See? a hunter. Whoa. Yes, she is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? Mind blown. This bitch tried to wow. call me out on this shit. She's like, no, you just <laughs> tore it in oh, the paper. And now he's licking his fingers. What Joel, else am I supposed to do? Joel, he goes back stop. to the banana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elliot, Elliot needs a cigarette now. Mm-hmm. Your banana mm-hmm. does. <laughs> you almost just stuck your fingers into the damn thing. thing. Mm-hmm. You're not done with it yet. All those hands all over your banana. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's all those fingers mm-hmm. in your banana. I know. They were it's all just in all there, the just digging in there, splitting it that into was three. That's a banana for guests. <laughs> <laughs> I think sing, sing song's not here. Well, mm-hmm. that's a half a banana. Mm-hmm. Like no she little would little be very disappointed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she? What, what person at this table would be satisfied with that banana? He said you being singers. Well, not here. I mean... Sing would be mm-hmm. very disappointing. Mm-hmm. If you like butt plugs. I guess. It's like a butt plug, isn't it? Well, the mm-hmm. point about butt plug is that it doesn't come out. That would just kind of fall out of you. Yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah. That would just... Push it out. Well, you'd have to, like, mm-hmm. keep on pushing it in. Well, then, then it's not a plug. Then it's mm-hmm. just a dong. Well, if you attach it to something. <laughs> on the inside? Mm-hmm. Sure. Even then, it's just a dong. Mm-hmm. The plug has, like, a plug so that your sphincter closes over it and it stays in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we really going to all have of y'all out there who didn't know? Who, all that. Didn't, know. <laughs> who didn't know? Bananas split evenly into three parts. Yay. Now and know. butt plugs 
stay in for a reason. For a yeah, reason. They're called mm-hmm. plugs for a reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like, wow. like, like earplugs. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I showed it to me. In Korea. <laughs> <laughs> that G, it's enlightening. Mm-hmm. That I have one that's, that was inflatable. Oh, that would be. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's like the. Mm-hmm. What is it? That torture device? The, the mm-hmm. pair? Oh, yeah. Oh, but no, I mean, it's oh, not were, were you, that big at all. The mm-hmm. ivory pair or whatever it is? Mm hmm. <laughs> Please give us a. Was a that an Iron Man toys? suit? No, it's like in Middle Ages when if you were uh, gossiping or whatever, they would stick this iron thing in your mouth and they would slowly like oh, make it bigger so gotcha. your mouth like splits oh. open. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. It's like well, pear, I've seen something pear. I forget what it's called. I've seen mm-hmm. people put um, actual pears called? in your butt. No, 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 no. Oh. Not in my. <laughs> you know, uh, I've seen people. We're do gay. Like, it's uh, happened. Uh, <laughs> Like I think that's just an emoji. That would be like no, it is not an emoji. Well, that ex- that will explain the um, the eggplant emoji. Yes. In your butt? Do you want me to? Well, wait. Eggplant. What about no? No, 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 no. We don't need the. No, I do. I'm. 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 Okay. First of all, no. I saw a cucumber on Twitter earlier today. Can we? Can we? Can we? Well, that's right because he's now following my lead. Can we say this? Um. I like how we're doing all this stuff, but you know we're not on TV. Y'all it's keep forgetting like, we're on a podcast. Y'all want to show pictures? Describe, describe what I'm looking at. Good it's lord! Just like a round table just conversation. I the know. Good oh, lord! Oh, I use that. Says uh, it all, right mm-hmm. there. Yeah. I don't see yeah. any plans. I don't know what we're so looking hold on, at. Let me find it. Wait, this is your Twitter feed. This is my Twitter. feed. I follow. I follow. So Chris's life has changed forever. This now. This is on it. But isn't this my lord? What the fuck is going on there? But isn't oh, this one of those food fetishes oh, kind of thing where you use certain foods to satisfy yourself? Like Look pages? at this picture on Twitter. Don't you love it? It's actually... <laughs> <laughs> That's the eggplant. <laughs> <That's laughs> he, he actually ate the eggplant. That is me. Awesome. It's that is me. It's actually, if you don't, if you don't know what Joel's... Mm-hmm. We have a picture of Joel, which you guys will probably mm-hmm. see. Okay, actually, By the time to Twitter, you're hearing this, it'll be on Twitter. Yes, mm-hmm. go to mm-hmm. that little uh, gay talk show and you'll see Joel's picture. I, at, I, I at call it Pinky. And I Pinky, Pinky and Joel. At, yeah. yeah, at Pinky and Joel. I call it thirty-seven-year-old nerd living in mom's basement. Thirty-seven. Look, I said thirty-seven, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say time out. I said thirty-seven. That's so generous. That was a good old person here. I don't think so, bitch. I follow a lot of people. Mm-hmm. A lot of porn stars. Just Can't you just do a search for eggplant? Do you follow that nude barber, barber in Atlanta? No, because I, I think the Joel wants to go there to get a haircut. No, I follow porn stars. Does he let you take pictures? I wonder. I don't, I don't know. He's got quite a Twitter follower. Actually, <laughs> I'm surprised Marcus isn't here to talk about the ball barber. No, you were the one that was you, talking about the ball barber. No, Mar- no, no, that was, that was Marcus. That was Marcus. He's like Marcus the brought barber. up the ball barber, which is well, uh, in yeah. New York. Okay, okay. Which is supposed to be a barbershop in New York where you can get your balls nice and nice trimmed. What? Mm-hmm. Ball hair. Your, your ball hair. hair. Your Didn't balls. I see an interview on balls. something with somebody who, yeah. somebody who was a ball barber and he's uh-huh. like been doing it for like 100 years? Mm-hmm. Like 25 years or whatever? Or like mm-hmm. a Merkin designer? I guess. So it's like a manscaper. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, the, the noise is down. Because the noise is down. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not okay. Okay. Okay, that's how are you describe? Okay. How are you going to describe What's this? Going on? I'm traumatized. Now. How are you going to describe this? Oh my lord! I don't want to see all that. How? It's well, like, I would like to know I, how you're going to describe this it. to our audience I got it. right now. Exactly how? Exactly how. Okay. It's so a man to get egg out of his ass. ass. It's a it's birth okay, in reverse. It's actually a full eggplant. <laughs> I'm an eggplant. Like, uh, <laughs> and he even said on, on his on his feet. He said, "I went out and bought the biggest eggplant I could find." And then, so he's using it to self pressure. Uh, which so is, I'm just wondering, does he heat it up first? Does he wear no, that? Does it make him incontinent later? Like, does he wear diapers when he doesn't have an eggplant in his yeah. ass? Because I mean, <laughs> no, he does wear. He does use a whole bunch of other fruits, vegetables, and like a, fruit a, a salad. Like a sushi, yummy, like a, yummy. Uh, Can I say this? Is this a fetish for you? No. No, <laughs> no it's not a fetish. What happens is this. I started following him for other reasons, and then out of nowhere, oh, okay. he started doing stuff like that. I'm like, whoa. What were the other reasons? But I was wondering that, too. What were the don't worry reasons? about the other reasons. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? All I can say is, I would think that a dinner party at his house would like probably a, be very A human marionette. I wonder if he makes eggplant uh, parmesan. Can you imagine sitting at a table full of vegetables, and you're looking at him going, 
Yeah, um, <laughs> can you imagine him sir, what, like, coming up to your plate like <laughs> yes. what didn't actually enter your ass that I can eat on this table I would, n- exactly. I would never eat in his house mm-hmm. eat his house I, I be like, well, oh well he invited me over for dinner like, bitch don't go there don't go. <laughs> you're like, like what are you having eggplant any, parmesan any cake uh, so oh my if, god if the if fucking cake, cake squashers I'll probably eat your uh, squash Okay, well, what? eating cake. Are you trading? I'm, somebody here I'm sorry. Do you put cake up your ass? <laughs> oh my god, do they? No. That's a thing. A lot of people call cake in your ass. Call, call ass squashing. Cake. Cake Have you all heard the song "Cake Sitting"? Cake, 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 cake on the beach. Oh, no. Yes. No. Okay. So, um, oh, eating cakes. Yeah, girl, I know yeah. that. So mm-hmm. y'all have eaten. Don't eat it. Like y'all not the, well, the butt cheeks cake. are called cakes. Yeah, so it's, like a, no, it's a slang for cakes. Like tasty So cakes. eating cakes. Before. It's eating so cakes. Yes. Oh. Yes, yeah, girl. You're talking about like y'all girl, I know what that means. Mm-hmm. Come on. I might be the oldest one know. at that table, but I know what cakes are. <laughs> we know. Mm-hmm. I know what cakes are. I've, I've had a slice of cake here here every now and then. Mm-hmm. So it's not all craziness. Mm-hmm. Weren't you asking for carrot cake the other day? Is that the same thing? No, that's Redheads. not the same. And I don't like cr- carrot cake. What? Ugh. You Redheads. Don't like cake? I do not like with carrot nuts. cake. What the fuck is wrong with you? I do not like carrot <laughs> cake. I want no vegetables in my cake. No, thank it's you. It's not like that. Ugh. I mean, no. It is like that. It's, mm-hmm. like that. it's like zucchini it's bread. Good. Which, by the way, amazingly enough, I hate well, zucchini, zucchini, but I love zucchini bread. Zucchini bread is really good. Zucchini bread is delicious. I haven't made bread But I do not like carrot cake. I don't like German chocolate cake either. I watch my. I, I I think that is that a southern thing because no, she. I didn't even hear a German chocolate oh. cake until I came to Texas. You guys haven't oh, heard yeah. of cake sitting? Awesome. Mm-hmm. No. Don't tell me you basically show a video of cake sitting. Please don't. Well, there's just this one photo mm-hmm. set. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, her bitch? makeup looks fabulous. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Some girl mm-hmm. that sat on a cake. She baked a cake. cake. So mm-hmm. and then she sat on it. You know what, audience? Oh, I, I might have to do. A, you know what? I might have to do a video feed every now and then. So we, when y'all show pictures and stuff while we're doing a podcast, at yeah. least the audience will it's know what we're talking about. It's very big in the Chub Chaser community. Well, we are describing what we're talking about mm-hmm. because in the Chub Chaser describe, community, there mm-hmm. is a. I, I said, and by the way, I will never I ask you to do that again. I actually, actually that stuff. They love the sitting on pastries mm-hmm. or like watching guys sit on pastries. Oh no! Okay. Mm-mm. Is that a fetish of you? Uh, Not mine. Mm-hmm. But apparently it is, it is <laughs> a thing. It is a thing. Well, yeah. there's, there well, is a... There is I've a... People, uh, there are gainers and feeders as mm-hmm. well. There's yeah. another sect of, of chubby chaser fetish mm-hmm. specific groups. Okay. Oh, yeah. yes. Those are the ones where they inject their balls with like silicone and it makes Saline? Oh, yeah. Oh, silicone. I heard read about I that. I have no idea. But that is mm-hmm. crazy to me. Mm-hmm. That are putting well, up, your uh, body doesn't absorb the silicone, does it? No, they, they no. Have but the saline, yeah, you can die off of that. Mm-hmm. It, it, it'll saline, saline, your body will. It's like butt, it, oh, yeah. it's like well, butt implants for your balls or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they do it for like stretching, and they put like they'll put like a gallon in there. Oh no! In your balls? Is, yeah. Does a gallon shit fit in there? Well, saline, you, know, you, this, you stretch you know, it. It's like stretching your stomach. These gigantic balls. I mean, they're huge. You oh, seen my that? God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, because there was an article in the paper about this feel... guy who died from it. There's some oh. weird... Yeah. This guy had this some this... cult where he had his I love... inject themselves with silicone. And I love the fact that this is Halloween because this is the scariest story I have ever heard. It, I, it's scary. There's some horror going on at this table. It brings a whole new meaning to like... Yeah, around something. with gigantic balls like that. So I know, I know. Why? Specific, I do all the time. And mm-hmm. I'm not going to say his name, but I know this specific porn star. Um, I know him not personally, but I've, I I you know, know of him. him. You know of him. Come I, on, I know of him, and I've taken pictures with him. So um, <laughs> I've taken pictures he, with he him. He actually he's into like all sorts of kinky and, and weird stuff. So one day um, they decided to buy this silicone baby and uh, a simulate a silicone, a silicone baby. baby. Oh, and yeah. simu- assimilate like a it's birth? Like a birth. They simulated like a birth. <laughs> I knew right where that was going. When a guy. <laughs> so uh, they were pretending like, oh, we're the baby. Out of his we're penis? Naked. Yes. And what? the baby out came of his out penis? flying. No, not his penis. Oh, anus. His anus. Oh. And that baby just came out flying off me. <laughs> that was so funny. To me, that was funny. It wasn't. When I saw it, I was like, oh, shit. This is not good. Because it I don't find like that sexual. Stuck in your but it was so though. funny. Because I think well, yeah, considering people get Hot Wheels cars stuck up their butts, like 
you imagine like oh have you all heard that a book? cabbage patch kid have, up there have you all watched the uh what is it uh it, it's in geo or one of those channels um Things you shouldn't put up your butt? No, no, no. Pe- people, people that go to the ER because oh, of some. Oh, gotcha. I don't think <laughs> that would be on I don't. <laughs> I don't know. That's. <clears throat> that is, those are they have done stories. so many, so many shows, web webisodes of people who go to the a- ER to get strange like things taken the out of their butts. I, no, I like the excuse I'm like, that people say. Oh I'm my like, god! Oh, I fell. I slipped. And I fell. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> that's that's like, like, you know, that's that's the end of a racket. Got mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you were playing like... tennis and you lost your grip and you yeah. fell on it. Doctor, I don't know how I got there. Uh, my, <laughs> got stuck inside of the uh, miniature oven. I mean, that's got to be really embarrassing. <laughs> I don't. I think after this discussion, oh. I don't think horror movies will ever be no, the same me for me ever again. Maybe that's why they don't scare me anymore. This, I don't think they'll guy. scare me I've anymore. I've seen real life horrors. I, I remember seeing an episode where there was this guy, a very popular guy in the news, type of person, personality, if you will, and so he paid ten thousand dollars to make sure they would not put him on the books because they he had a vibrator stuck up in his cooter. And I so it, almost got see, okay. stuck up. Okay. I, I think it, um, but I if, if it was if he paid not to have it on books, how do we know about it? Because somebody people, said because ten thousand dollars wasn't course, enough. Exactly. <laughs> people talked about that, but they didn't say who he was. Their, their so debts, so far, their debts took fifteen k. Figure out who this personality is. Say, you might, he might have wanted ten thousand, but I need a little more than that. Well, yeah, wait, 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 wasn't that big story that didn't Richard Gere get a gerbil stuck about his I don't think that was ever proven to be true. That's, yeah. not, that's, not that's, true. that's just that, a saying. Yeah. That was <laughs> Joel yeah, running to his rescue. No, I had. That was actually a hamster. I did a little research, and it turns out it was a guinea pig. No, it turns out that there was a huge feud between Sylvester Stallone and Richard Gere at the time. What? And Sylvester Stallone. Put it out there. I love Sylvester Stallone so much for making Richard that rumor. took a gerbil of his ass. Wait, why and was he there a that you... Oh, they were working oh, on a movie. A and yeah, what I want to know is why it wasn't a rumor that he was there. Yeah, they were working on a movie. They were working on a movie. Did you help? Together. <laughs> and they hated each other. What movie from, were they were they? Oh, together? it was like, The Outsiders or something like Some old no, movie from the 1960s. Oh, The Outsiders. He got fired from that. That's why he's not in that. Richard Which Gere, one? Richard uh, Gere? Yeah, Richard Gere got fired for that. That's Wait, why he was uh, not in the Outsiders. No, no I can't so remember. School, that. It's something Brady like that where they played like a group of a young oh. you know members Brady or something. But yeah, yeah, Sylvester Stallone started that rumor. So that's oh, okay. not that's not an actual truth. Okay. Well, thank you so much for but, enlightening us. But let me just Back understand. Hold on just a second. How do we know that it's not true? I mean, yes. I can tell you that, oh, that never happened, and in fact, it actually did. So who's, what are we going on by that? That really never happened. You know, the beautiful thing about... I'm just, I mean, does that make sense? The beautiful thing about that is that Stallone made it so convincing that 30 years, 30, 40 years from now, we're still talking about it. From then. Mm-hmm. My thing, my well, thing. What's the other thing? Rod Stewart had to get his stomach pumped because it had he. I thought that was Baby Spice. Oh, really? I thought it was Rod, yeah, I heard Rod Stewart. Too. Back in the what early eighties, like wasn't it late seventies, yeah. early eighties? Oh no, Baby Spice had to get her stomach pumped in like the mid to uh, the because she swallowed too much semen. Yeah, yeah. Is in like a, circa two thousand three. Uh, yeah, is that even po- like how is how that possible? Swallow? When you just vomit it up? Yeah, exactly. It's not like it's <clears throat> it's, it's like people that eat clay. What do you mean? What the fuck is, is that even the same thing? What is the Hold on. To do I have something to say about <laughs> is, this is Sylvester Stallone <laughs> thing. Oh, Spit it out. This went off the rails. How, how, <laughs> how does Sylvester Stallone know that Richard Gere took the hamster in the butt? Or, how would he possibly or, know that? Or, or, Unless or, he wasn't there. Okay, say, and Richard Gere going to deny it, but, I mean, why would you want to admit to something like that? So did it really happen or not? And, and was Sylvester Stallone the one who put the did, gerbil yeah, up his butt? Because other than that, how would you know? I mean, let's it's, face it. If Pinky, if you had ever had a gerbil up your ass, would you admit it to the world? Yeah. Okay. But usually it's I that, think that example. It's more like how would you come up with that? How would you come up with that unless you had some right? Some, right. Exactly. Why would you make that up, David? Unless you had been there shoving the gerbil up my ass? <laughs> no, unless you did it yourself. <laughs> you know, like so. Sylvester Stallone was the one who got the gerbil stuck up his ass, and probably the other dude just helped him. Right. 
And Gear was, yeah, and and Gear was trying to get it out of there. <laughs> Gear was not involved at all. And, and even, so even if he was like, okay, <laughs> take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. And relax. Yeah, that's <laughs> poor gerbil. Yeah, but just ready to start a cow. Any anything that would I'm sorry, sorry, but anything that, that would case, right? It would no, suffocate and die. Like, it would like really it would put up eat like the way it's way out. It would yeah, suffocate and die. Fight, you know. No. Well, yeah, because he's like he's suffocating, so he's running out of. Yeah, we just so caught, like, and if you're if there's nothing hard. If, your anus between right. anus and freedom. It would have messed him up. It would have come right out of there. Because they would have had to shove a PVC pipe way up his ass to get the gerbil in there long enough for the gerbil to have suffocated. For it to crawl like deep into his body. (laughs) Well, no, the simple logistics of it. Wait, did Zomar have a Mm -hmm. gerbil thing going on? Mm -hmm. Well, we... Maybe that's where I'm getting the Mm -hmm. PVC pipe from. Well... A long time ago, a long time ago. He's gonna give. He's gonna give a band. No, that's the jury. They made a song, Mr. Mm Tillinghorn. A long time ago, back in the band camp. (laughs) Back in the early days of a former show that we used to do, we had a little educational special on the anus. Dribbling. And it turns out one of the most. It turns out that one of the most powerful muscles in the body is is the the sphincter. Is your brain it's the sphincter? Okay, that was the heart. <laughs> no, it's it it's the sphincter. Well, one of the you said because it has to not the shit out. Yeah. It well, no, it has to keep it in. It has to keep it in. Mm-hmm. It has because to keep it in. When you yeah. said what happens to the muscle, it relaxes and it shit just yeah. comes out. Yeah. So, so it has not stuff there sooner or later. The muscle not going to work anymore. I'm going to have that fiber. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have that fiber. Oh, it's I'm going to be clean when I go. There ain't nothing coming out of my kitchen. So if if a gerbil if a gerbil no, was <laughs> if a gerbil was placed in said anus, it would have suffocated to death because it would have just held it right there. Right. No, it would. And it would have died. But in doing so, mm-hmm. it would have put up a fight. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, yeah, because that is true. And it would have had sharp mm-hmm. claws. Yeah, I think it would have put. Uh, I hate to say this, but it would have put up a fight when it was just getting up. Into the little. Not if you potato gun it in there. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you don't know if he was, if he was actually, you know. Uh, He's going, shoom. The horror! The horror! <laughs> Into the danger zone! I'm like, what, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Escape from New York. Mm-hmm. Hamster edition. Mm-hmm. Yes, maybe he was all wrapped up on Hamster something. Pliskin. Oh, dear mm-hmm. God. This totally went off the rails. I know. <laughs> and we're still in the horror realm for some we reason. Are still yeah. We are still There's in the horror realm. There's a lot of cringing. There's a lot of cringing. Some people my, fainted. My butthole is all puckered up. Mm-hmm. So oh, there's that. I don't think that's from that. Again. Here we go on your yes, butthole please, again. Because then somebody's going to get emotional and start talking about how wonderful and beautiful and pink it is. Oh, my God. It's so pink no and more. beautiful. <laughs> Oh, Joel. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't even. I don't even want to hear it. Okay, so. Oh, you're doing really bad. May I, may I be reminded? Did we say blonde hair or did we say reddish, strawberry blonde hair? No, you I actually you said, said strawberry it was blonde. pink, strawberry blonde. Strawberry blonde. And the hair was strawberry blonde. Well, you might have you said well first you said it was mm-hmm. very smooth. You might have told me that. You said maybe three or four little strawberry blonde hairs. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you said it was smooth, like burned into my. It's smooth. Yes. It's smooth, like okay. Smooth. So I sort of heard half the story. Mm-hmm. I think I missed the first half mm-hmm. of the story. It, it's because I think Joel only. Gave there was you no the first story half of that. His <laughs> it went Joel's version of the events. Joel's okay. version of the, of the situation. <laughs> it went from zero to one hundred. Really, yes, four, mm-hmm. four out of the three queens mm-hmm. here do remember. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, oh, pretty vividly. I, I think I, I commented on the fact that it's so it's so shiny. You can see yourself in it. No, nope. you can no, apply I, your makeup to not, it or no, something no, like no, that. No, 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 no. That must have been mm-hmm. what you no, hadn't you, said yet. You, you oh, okay. And, and I think I was cool, going to say that. That was up next, but we had to go to break. We didn't have vodka yet. Yeah, we went We had to go to break. Yes, because that's why we had to do a live episode the next day. Because oh, this is the one that didn't. Oh, oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. By the way, yeah. that episode, that episode was amazing because ninety percent of that episode was on jail. <laughs> we so literally talked about, about, about. Yeah, we, we talked, talked about, about jail. jail. But the episode that you guys released, which was like only like forty nine minutes long, yeah, that was the episode. Jail too. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, no, that's yeah, the that's episode. Oh, that is the yes. episode. Yeah, no, 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 no. The drunk oh. episode we deleted. 
Yeah, yeah. I want to delete, wait, I delete, delete it. it. Oh, I deleted yeah, it. Deleted okay, it. we have to never ever do that ever again. Yeah, I wanted to hear even, if, even if we that could be the bonus. Even if we <gasps> don't release it, yes, we want our Patreon listeners to be able to get the unreleased girl. Okay, delete. Undelete. <laughs> Undelete. Go recover. Undelete. Yes. Yeah. If we can, anyway. So you actually exactly. wait. Is it still in your garbage? No, he said no. He did that. Here's the thing with Spreaker: when you delete something. <laughs> When you delete something in the Spreaker it's software, it's gone. Right, especially when it's gone. Usually, yeah. usually I will save a copy. Well, to, I almost and, and, always try and, to save a copy. Can't you email somebody and say, hey, could you please recover that mm-hmm. file for me? They're going to be like, nah. So no. just, I'm just happy that, that you listen to all of us when we... When we well, all I think, I think petition you to one. not release it. I didn't, say, I didn't, I didn't petition you. No, you didn't, because you didn't remember it. You didn't remember it. So you I didn't remember. Like, hey, Joel, let's edit, blah, 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 blah. He's like, we can't edit. I said, well, I definitely hope you don't put that out there. Mm-hmm. And wow. he was, really he had already this. listened to the damn thing. And I'm like, how do you say, well, it is what it is. No, it's not what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what and I it said. Is a hot that's what fucking said. Mess. Have you not listened to the Joel and Randy show? We have had oh. worse episodes. Oh, no, we <laughs> have not. <laughs> We have, have had worse every single episode. We have had worse episodes. I came into, of course, becoming one of the, the panelists, I guess. I, I listened and I went back, and, you know, listened mm-hmm. as many as I could. I do not recall. Uh, I mean, we talk a lot about sex and all these things mm-hmm. and dicks and whatnot, but mm-hmm. not to where we took it that day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we and, took it and, to Pinky's whole, like, mm-hmm. yeah. for like 30 minutes. And then fucking mm-hmm. everybody in the I morning. feel like the, my know, legs were tired. I feel just like listening to y'all talk about my fucking <laughs> hole. I feel like <laughs> now. See, this is this is. I couldn't sit right. This is why you, sh- why Pepe Le Pew should not be your hero as a child because now we're in this situation where it's like, well, well so you spent gonna, way we're too much. Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> and you spent Joel. Joel I you spent way too much problem. time talking about my anus, and I am now uncomfortable. And I feel like I'm in a Harvey we, Weinstein situation, yep, so we, I wait, might I have to we, sue you. I might have to sue you later if the show becomes successful. <laughs> <laughs> Slash tag, I have not signed any waivers, so I make no promises. Um, yeah, you didn't have us sign any waivers. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, the uh, offended... Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I didn't mean to offend you, Pinky, in any I way. I wasn't offended. Before. It was, it was all very mm-hmm. complimentary. Mm-hmm. It was just uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It was burning. You know the that whole this time. episode was never released, so had we not been talking about this right now, no one would have known what was going on. I know. On. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, we, we actually that mentioned that. As an asshole. Some of it. As an asshole, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's a regular guest star. I'm sorry. Your asshole is? Yes. But it's a regular Funny. guest starfish I'm on sorry, the show. But if you, go to, if you go to our Twitter page and you see Pinky and his... Outfits. No, there's a difference. And his outfit. Those were Halloween costumes. Okay, okay. First, and, let me get to my point outfits. here. But let me get to my point here. <laughs> if you if, if you go to his Twitter, yes. If you go to our Twitter page and you see Pinky in his outfits. Yes, no. you. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. The outfit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me oh, make my, my point, God. please. Let me make my point. <laughs> if you go to the, if you go to the Twitter page and you see Pinky and his various Halloween costume iterations, the fact of the matter is, is that Pinky is. There's not an ounce of hair on this. This boy is smooth as hell. So if you think it. <laughs> So my conversation about how his a- his anus would look, take a look at those pictures and you understand why I said his anus looked like. I mean, he is smooth. There's not there's not a there's not a hair on that there's not, body. There is no body hair. There's even peach fuzz. Yeah, my arms. I shave most of it when I'm sharpening my knives. I, I test them. To make well, sure Twitter doesn't them. have that feature where you can do like. <laughs> Where you can do like super close ups, like on NCIS or any of those things, when they zoom in. I have one of those tables. Close. That's how I take selfies in my butthole. Yeah. So as far as in <laughs> selfie mode, I mean, he is, he, there's no out of hair. He uses his uh, his uh, specific lens mm-hmm. for macro mm-hmm. pictures. Yes, and to clear it up, yes, the outfits are something that Pinky mm-hmm. puts on Pinky. Mm-hmm. Pinky's anus is an outfit he puts on others. 
You know, I can imagine that I don't want to mention any names because we're not allowed to mention names. No, but I um, uh-huh. can imagine that a certain friend of his, if it's dark in the room and Pinky comes walking in, Pinky's just glowing. I mean, he just, you turn off all the lights, <laughs> and Pinky is just, oh, there you are. Come on, girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have I to use the flashlight on my phone. Right. I just, good thing you don't have any clothes on. So girl, I can't, <laughs> girl, I can't find my phone. Can you, like, can you like, direct your <laughs> ass over there so that I can find my phone? Oh, there it is. I don't care. Thank, 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 Thank you, girl. 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 Thank you, Oh. It doesn't glow. Mm-hmm. I'm not powder. I'm not. Lord <laughs> <laughs> have mercy. Ooh, Lord. People are going to start getting the impression I look like Q-tip. From... You, you, sleep, you sleep with pink and you think you're sleeping with the sun. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> you, wow. Oh, you wake okay. up to the sun the next morning. Let's move on from this. Let's move on. Yeah, you look at the covers up. It's like, ah! Just blinding. Look out, vampires. Here I come. And I, I have, like, and I have a wonderful so tan. Yeah. They made a UV rays <laughs> out of my butthole. <laughs> it's not. I don't call it mooning people. I call mm-hmm. it sunning people. Mm-hmm. Oh, good lord! You know what? I yep. think. I think. When um, I first met Mumbles, he was oh, tasty white. Okay. Um, oh, we can use oh, Mumbles. Oh, we can use. Can we edit, use Mumbles? Edit, you filter, edit, filter, 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 filter. Mumbles has been. Everyone, everyone can mention Mumbles, but when okay. I first met him, he was. Mm-hmm. Not so cinnamony brown looking. Mm-hmm. He was very pasty white. All that time under the covers in the <laughs> oven. Who <laughs> that bright light on? Who here? needs a tanning mm-hmm. bed? Mm-hmm. You got pinky. Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, think uh, <laughs> I think we need a break for yeah. just a second. A yeah. I think we might have actually gone over the thirty minute mark on the break, but okay. we've been having so much fun. That's so. okay. You set a timer, right? Yeah, I did not. Did. I was going to, no, but nobody did. Nobody did. But nobody. Did. And the conversation of eggplants, Pinky's butthole, and all that other stuff just got out of hand. Just so. in case you've ever wondered what it's talked about when we're not on the air, same stuff. This is the same, same stuff. <laughs> this is the same, same shit. stuff. This is us all the time. This is the same mm-hmm. stuff. It's like we all carry all on the debate and we mm-hmm. kind of, you know. Yeah. I don't feel like that. This I, is the I, same I, conversation. I feel like that when we're off the air. I feel like that we we get to the conclusion of, the, mm-hmm. of what we didn't get to <laughs> about what we talked mm-hmm. about before we logged before mm-hmm. we came on this. Afternoon. I feel like that we talk season. about yeah, we, right. We sit a lot, uh, sit around like gentlemen, and we talk about the stock market. <laughs> Right. And we talk we about stocks, and we talk about the types of tea we like to drink and right. we tea talk, <laughs> You know, we talk social. We talk social <laughs> politics using <laughs> witty phrases, Introgen. that kind of thing. Politics, and then when we come on the air, social we just act politics. like jerks. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so we're gonna take a break because you know Bill's got to get paid and all that other crap. So. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. Yay. Yay. Stick around. It's Halloween. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you, you know. better hurry up and get over there. Okay. I'm going to say nobody moving. Nobody moving. Chokers Pocus. Mm-hmm. Chokers Pocus. Yeah. But. Um, so. <laughs> it's okay. Right before. It's shiny. Right before but we came back to break, the what? shiny. What did you, yes, it's hanging. So, David, what did you drink or take? Because today you're being funny as hell and I'm loving it. He goes on vacation tomorrow. Yay. Yay. They switched up his Zoloft. I'm still yes. jobless, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, that doesn't matter. I'm still jobless. Mm-hmm. I'm going so on you're vacation. Being funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. it must be nice to be so. So, back to the pink. Okay, to be fair, the vacation was paid for like long before I got lost my job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so back uh, to the pinkest rim in, in the place in the podcast. My starfish is not. <laughs> <laughs> my starfish is not on trial here. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? 45 seconds? It is, it's sort of my, I have a you... pet starfish, mm-hmm. David. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not in this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about anything. Um, so right before we came back from break, there was kind of some... We, we kind of hashed a, yeah. a... We were trying... We were attempting to figure stuff, out what to talk about. Stuff? Yeah, we were attempting to stuff 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag when it came to Halloween costumes and cultural appropriation for Halloween in the gay community. Mm-hmm. That's right. And I have never encountered any of this. I haven't mm-hmm. either, but Joe, you mentioned something about a couple. Can you give us some in background Canada. on it? Uh, in Canada. Well, first of all, Canada. I, 
Canada. I don't think it's pronounced like that. Oh, yeah? Well, you're from Texas, and I'm from Detroit, so I think I know. Okay, Starfish, <laughs> calm it down. Detroit's not a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Detroit's let's, not a Canada. Though. Yeah. The let, two let's, let's, arguing okay. in, in, oh, Although it is closer than Houston. Two, I'll give you two that. Two out of three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> two out of three. So the thing is, is that <laughs> when it comes to Halloween costumes... <laughs> When it comes to Halloween <laughs> costumes. David is, is so sorry. David's on fire. David's on fire. Would you David's say that you are tickled pink? <laughs> <laughs> he is. He tickled pink. pink. He is. 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 Now you got me going. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and actually, Come on back, y'all. Oh, 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 I will never I'm look at like a can of starfish tuna ever again without thinking about Pinky. Yeah. Let me tell you a fun fact about that. starfish. The male starfish is the one that carries the babies in this case, not the female. Wait, yeah, you're I'm talking, talking about, about seahorses. 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 Oh, seahorses. Yeah, you're talking about starfish seahorses. Starfish is not the same? No. <laughs> okay, what? sorry then. I, I think wrong. The, I'm wrong. the seahorse is on the no, front. No, okay, because I've heard people call them they're starfish. The no, they're 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 they're, they're different. Yeah, they're, 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 they're the only thing they have to come is a little bit of water. Yeah, I've, I've heard yeah. a couple of people call them that. That's <laughs> well, why I was like, horse what? Is, what? what? Star. Well, one is an invertebrate, and the other one is not. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Then never mind. Isn't a starfish? Yeah, and I went to different kingdom. Is that a different kingdom? Animal kingdom? kingdom? Yeah, yes. invertebrates and vertebrates. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Thank I don't you, think that... Mr. Science. I don't think that... Um, <laughs> Bill Nye. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> I don't think that seahorses are vertebrates, are they? They are. They are. Because mm-hmm. they have fins. Mm-hmm. And their thing kind of... But yeah, they're definitely vertebrates. You know that little thing that coils? That It's called a tail. Yes, it's a tail. It's a tail. <laughs> That's what you, you, you can say. You can, you can call it a tail. But it's got a whole Not when it sees the starfish. Mm-hmm. It's got to go back to it, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, they Baby got back. are are they exo skeletons? No, they don't have an exo. So. Okay, no. so they are vertebrates mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the science. Mm-hmm. Bit. Okay, so, so we back to the so concert. we had a science okay. moment. Look at this queen. Canadian. We had a science moment. AKA we're so AKA Canada. We're so edgy, smarter than we appear. How do you, yes. how do you, yes. about, how do you get Canadian out of C A N A D A? What's that? Well, some of us are smart. <laughs> <laughs> some of us are smart. I can science, I just can't spell. Mm-hmm. Some of us are smart. Canadi- how can they- Is the ADD? I English Canada, good. Canada, mm-hmm. Canada, Canada, Canada. But I don't get a Canadian in there anywhere. B A N A N A S. Banana. 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 Elliot's favorite uh, fruit. Um, star no, fruit? Not. Well, you said it was. He just, that's no, just the fruit no. that he eats in public the I most. I actually commented at all about the banana. You oh, that's not true. You I could, just said you I like to eat it You can make it in the thirds. That you kind of wild you. Yeah. No, but I didn't say if I actually like the banana. Well, I just said I like to look, eat it in You public. just looked like you, know you like okay. to eat it. I'm actually, you're enjoying it. I'm actually intrigued. Why do you like to eat bananas in public? Because people think he's... I explained it. Yeah, he did. I explained mm. it to him. Because he said puts it. the you whole thing in his mouth with the peel on it first. And they're like, they look at him all crazy because they're like. take notice of guys when they're eating bananas in public. Yeah. Thank you. Here's the, like, like, do they, you, does, you, does he know he has to peel it first? Hold on. Joe was ruling when he Hold on. saw no. Elliot. No. Because no. guys are supposed to like break it off and. Yeah. They're not chugging. Like yeah, that. you're not and then supposed he to. Just chugs. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> how else mm-hmm. do you eat a banana? That's the way I eat a banana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But exactly. Like, just so like a lollipop. You know, mm-hmm. guys. Heterosexual guys. Heterosexual guys. Heterosexual guys break it off. Break it off so it doesn't and eat look it. like you're sucking a cock. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm not heterosexual, I so I wouldn't even know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess that's like an unwritten law. Or yeah, I think that's. to make It's like checking your nails. Mm hmm. So, straight hold guys on. don't do that so, either. So you're telling no, me straight you're guys... Like this, or you do it like this? So I think oh, I like everyone this. has to hold Exactly, because you're home. Everybody. Everyone has to, <laughs> has to so hold work. I want everyone straight to get a banana over the week and eat it. I'm going to do that. Public. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to do that. Wait a minute. I have... I have Starbucks. No, actually... No, but let me tell you... Actually, I... I so work at banana at Starbucks. If you work in a, <laughs> for if you work, work I know. I gotta work exactly. exactly. If you work in the restaurant industry like I do, I've eaten bananas like I would normally eat a banana. 
And yeah, every time I would get the gateway, the gateway, the 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 like well, you were in the service and the idiot. So I have a but I would get, I would always get. Oh, I like the way you're eating that banana. I'm eating a fucking banana. Wait, it that? is nine o'clock in the morning. Shut the fuck. up. You should up. have a talk with your manager. Wait, people you say that to you? Yeah, uh, cooks say that all. Of, cooks are the worst. Oh, okay. Oh. If you work in this industry, cooks are the biggest oh, no, offender really of are. sexual really are, abuse. Yeah. I love that in the in are, industry. Well, let me ask you, and I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. It, are they by any chance? And, and of course, I don't get any heat heat, heat for it. But are they Hispanic? Yes. Okay. Something that that you should know that it, it, it in especially in in Mexico and in other Hispanic cultures, we use the double entendre mm-hmm. a lot yes. to the point where we kind of cross the line. But that is normal for us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Did you just make that okay? Say, no. I can tell you not, how to combat that real easily. Yeah. Real easy because like Show when I first just try to hold their no, hand. Show no. Little, <laughs> but I was like IP way back, way back, way back. I didn't know what the word hoto meant. Mm. Well, it didn't take me long to figure it out. So we had we had this position it was a quack, and they went, basically it was just an expo person all they were, but they had to wear this paper hat. So <laughs> I took this paper hat, I wrote J O T O on both sides of it, and I wore it. <laughs> <laughs> and it took all of the fire out of that. I never got called that again. You said what? I, I, uh, Which is fake. Mm-hmm. And so I put that on a paper hat, and I wore that a few times. Because it didn't bother me more after that. Mm-hmm. No more after because that. Because once... But the guys in the dining room all kept giving you eyebrows. Well, well, the way this store was designed, they couldn't see me anyway. So oh, okay. Yeah. But, so, but the cooks, they, the, the you, know, you just is, owned it. So uh, the cooks didn't oh, yeah. bother you anymore. Yeah. It's like Daria. Yeah. Yeah. Cult- culturally, if, if you're not gay, it's okay for you to make those jokes. But once you know you're, you're gay, they stay off of it. Because they know they can either insult you mm. or it gives you the right to... To, to give it back to them. Mm-hmm. That's where right. English people that's get that like, misnomer that if, right. if you but, own it, it takes the power out of it. But it, yeah. it, it mm-hmm. does work. But on it the other hand, when I became a manager and I was called a hotel, and I fired them on the spot. So, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so you could either fire them on the spot or wear well, I was I wasn't a manager when I was wearing the hat, the, 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 the uh-huh. paper hat that said hotel. I wasn't a manager. Oh. I later became a manager at, at a different place. And I was called a hotel, and I was like, out. Fired them on the spot. Mm-hmm. I would do exactly the same thing. Which, by the way, got just as much as the Hoto thing did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You make an example. Mm-hmm. I owned it one way, and I didn't own it the other, and fired him, and so it was all gone. Mm-hmm. He's not on Twitter anymore. I'm not on Twitter. This was actually... You're not showing us any more eggplants? You're not showing us any more eggplants, right? Yeah, I see that. That's not Twitter. Mm-hmm. It looks like Grinder, but it's not. Oh, it's not Grinder. Sam so Peasley. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like Grinder to me no, because it it's got just, the, the blue mm-hmm. bubbles and the yellow bubbles. Oh, I'm not on Grinder. I'm not either. But no, he's I used on to. Scrub. I'm not either. Uh, well, let me I'm tell you something. I, I go. I go to. Um, I have. I have two apps. So I have um, Growler and Grinder. Really got more. Than I get. I was gonna no say I'm seeing twelve apps right now. in Growler, but in Grinder. Growler is really disappointing. It is. It really is. It really is. It really is. Now gra- uh, Grinder. <laughs> Growler is bears for bears. I guess so. They have like a no chaser, no admirer. No, and it's not like no chub, it's, no. It's like yeah, bear bear. Douchey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, douchey. Jim, or, it's like Jim bunny bear. bear. Yeah, like, you are yeah. the wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. Because <laughs> let me tell you, I, I could absolutely no, no bear necessities from, in that one. <laughs> well, I've met a couple of people through Growler, but mm-hmm. uh, I've. Like I don't get any action, but on Grinder, you will be surprised because Grinder usually is for you know. I think it's just become the, 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 the thing. Thing. Is, their interface is so dated. Yeah, it's oh, they have not. Scrub. Isn't that the one that's owned really by? Like isn't that one that's the one that was owned by Chinese people or something? I think so. No, 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 no. That's was, Grinder. Uh, Grinder. Grinder is owned. Grinder, Grinder is owned Grindr. by a Chinese company, yeah. but that's why we now have Grinder Unlimited. Yeah. I didn't know. I did know. not know that, nor do they, I yeah, care. They had Grinder Plus, and then like the next phase, oh, they just this. So you pay. Right. So you pay three on it. I Hell no! What's I mean, what, that's why I said, "What is Grinder Unlimited?" <clears throat> well, you, you get a certain set of added benefits, like you can see people who have seen your profile, but you, get you, can, for you this, can go you online go in, incognito. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and and so people, you pay for this privilege? It's like two hundred dollars a year. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. 
Like, it's like how fucking unlaid are yeah. you getting? So so you need to be less. <laughs> no. You need to be <laughs> less <laughs> fucking <laughs> crazy. When Grinder first started, like you could block as many people as you wanted, mm-hmm. and, like, and they were like, "Oh shit, we can't even block. pay for this." Mm-hmm. And then they switched to like ten a day or ten a, a day. Yeah. Or something. yeah. Mm-hmm. So so with unlimited, for what I, I I saw there, you have unlimited access to uh, profiles. Right. So no. You can keep going and going parameter. and going. Parameter. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is, you, you can go, like you said, incognito. Wait, it has to stop somewhere. It no. doesn't stop. What do you mean? You can go up to 1,500 miles away. Yeah. You just and keep just, scrolling. Uh, yes, keep on memory your phone has. Mm-hmm. Yes, pretty wow. much. And uh, then you have unlimited blocks, and you have a whole bunch of different things going on. Pinch and of course, you can dog. use all those filters and whatnot. Can you send, like, your preferences, in Growl, right? you can send, like, broadcast messages. Can you do that in Grindr? No. No. Like, you get, you I can't do like that about Growl. I, I like the I like, You know what? I, yes, I do. I like, I like probably. the shouts because I always send I like out shouts shout. for the show. Right. Shouts is how I met these other guys yeah, in a way. So, so yeah, like I, if you're in a new yeah. city and you're like, I want to send well, a shout. I've been people. trying to. I want to lay with my back up and my legs in the air. I will be here from Thursday to Sunday at noon. That's a shout out right there. Can I? We have to. We have a creator and we have a Turkish person. Can we build our own dating app? Yes. Let's do that. It can be done. You don't think there's like that market is like saturated already? No, we'll saturated. fuck them up. It's pretty sad. It is come it drenched. Is I'll tell you what's it not saturated. A sexual app. Sexual. An asexual app. Oh, oh, I thought you said oh, asexual. Yeah. An asexual. Like, Wait, so you're that's the same thing that we said. Like, asexual. Asexual. So just looking right. for friends and looking right. for romance. Because right. you said you're a romantic. Actually, romantic. I thought that's a good I'm, idea. I'm yeah. like, like, that's uh, called Candy you Crush. Again, you are a what type of uh, asexual again? Homo romantic. Homo romantic. Okay. Right. Wait, so she's exactly. looking for for Not sensuality as we are. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I don't so know what homo. What is homo romantic? Okay. First of all, before we get into that, it was. It's okay. Asexual. No, no, it right was now. asexual awareness week last week. It was. It was. Yeah. So for those of you out there that are listening, not, yeah. I actually got. I actually got information. I got information on Instagram and I got information on Facebook so about <laughs> the asexual community and everything else and all the definitions and everything me, else. <laughs> so I started to. You know, when you when your best friend. Not the cancer. I don't think that. Um, I don't think we went into full detail about this, but oh, when did. your best friend has spent a long time trying to figure himself out, yeah. and his biggest fear, and I hope you don't mind if I... And he's sitting right in the room next yeah. to you. Well, he said it before. Yeah, but, yeah, but, his, yeah, but his biggest fear... That, yeah. I have no secrets. His biggest fear was the fact that he... We have been best friends for... 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. And but he was as worried about coming out to you he w- as asexual as yes. he was. So having a yeah. conversation. And by the way, we had this conversation at Bo M. I remember exactly where we were we, sitting. Yeah, exactly. We were, we I were remember what this- I was wearing. <laughs> I can't go there have been okay. moments, and you're interrupting it. So we were sitting. No, we've had this moment before. Mm-hmm. We, yeah, it's, all good. it's, it's like mm-hmm. who, who would upstage the yeah. ride at a wedding. But I wanted, to, I wanted to remind this because we missed. All over again. We missed. Asexual Awareness Week last week, so I want to we just hot fucking mess. Yeah, we're so a hot fucking mess. mess. Yes, yes, that's yes. Why. So yeah, I there's a whole lot we missed mm-hmm. last week. So yes. I want to I want to put this out here for <laughs> warning signs mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. We were driving if blind. Don't remember it mm-hmm. happening. It probably did. No, it was not blind. Yeah. So I want to put <laughs> this ran by the boss. I want to put this out here for those gay men and women who are asexual. When David. You sat down. What asexual is? They don't yes. have sex. That's a little That's, more. It's more a little bit more that. too, but we're not going to get into that because right, because it's it's an absence of desire. Sexuality. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not going to get too into that because we did that on a whole episode. We, yes. Yeah. We but the thing is, is that when oh god, when, when I'm having flashback, when David and I sat down and <laughs> had this conversation. When David and I sat down and had this conversation, his biggest worry was the fact that... Oh, yeah, that was the episode. Exactly. Yes. So we know we've done this before. Yes. But I want to put a reminder out there again. No, I know. I was just saying. But the biggest thing was is the fact that his biggest worry was how he thought I was going to perceive him as being asexual. And 
you know, the fact of the matter is, is that we're both gay. We've we've had to come out of the closet before. I didn't I didn't understand why he would think that I would be like, oh my god, you're asexual. Get the hell out of my house. Blah 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 blah. blah. And I'm like, okay, you're asexual. We're both having. I get it. <laughs> I didn't understand. At first, when he told me, I didn't understand it, and I had to do some research and I had to look. But once he told me, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, since you're talking about it, are you going to explain to me what homo romantic is? David can explain to you what homo okay, romantic so, is. Okay, um, so asexuality is basically, I don't want to say it's the lack of sexual desire. I don't think that's necessarily true. You just, <laughs> different people look at it from different ways, but I just don't have any desire to have sex. It's pretty much that simple. Have I had sex? Yes, I have. Um, I even had sex with a female one time. By the way, that was disgusting. Yuck. I will never, uh, it was physically sick for two days. That's anyway, why I call my wound but, a... <laughs> It was gross, but um, nothing against women. <laughs> no, nothing nothing. But I just don't want to have ever have sex with you ever again. Let's make sure that anyway. we don't, you know. Uh, let's not worry about it. Let's, I don't. Guess. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah, not just worry about it. Who cares? So there's a spectrum. Okay, so you're asexual, and some people are like aromantic, and they have no, they don't want to be romantic with anybody. They just want to just live their life, and that's all they want to do. Then there's a, a whole spectrum above, like hetero romantic, where they have they're more so attracted to someone who's on the opposite sex. Romantically speaking, someone attracted to the opposite sex, uh-huh. or the other stream would be, you know, homo romantic, someone who's attracted to someone of the same sex in a romantic kind of way. Basically, it comes down to this, and Joel and I made, Joel and I made this joke all the time because I joke about it a lot. And Joel and I see a good looking guy, and Joel wants to jump the guy, but I just want to put him up on top of the mantle in the fireplace and just look at him. Right. And it's just kind of. <laughs> it's like you want to date, like right. and, you, and you choose yeah. to date right. men, and you want the romantic I just don't gestures like that go with it. And, and but, and but. And you have to remember. Without the. The when you say sex, are you talking carnal, about carnal, penetrative, or are you talking- all of the above? Okay. Yeah. But you but have to remember now. before before we get it further into this, and I want to remind you guys um, that episode that we had when we did talk about it did uh, not end well. Did not end well. So that episode is well, actually no longer available. Oh, did it not end well? Okay. No, that was that was it, the it did that poorly. Wait, no, well, that how was it's not available that was anymore because that was when. I understand that, but I wasn't aware. I wasn't that aware was, this that was when we a have certain other mac- microphones. Yeah, I know, but that was when a certain person. Yes, we got left you. the show. We know what you mean. Yeah, so I made the DM. Yeah, oh, so that was like, that was the same night that that. So I, I was kind of, yeah, yeah, I was Okay, so, so I yeah, so anyway, I it yeah. Comes down to the basically, um, basically it's all David White's fault. It's my fault. Yeah, I own that. Is this my? Fuck you. That was the first time Eight, in six, so seven months that I hear you. Someone's blossoming. Yes. My, my hair okay? <laughs> Eight, six, seven. <laughs> bitch, it is <laughs> Oh my goodness. That is a trick. That is so crazy. No apologies. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say this. Apologize. Just I, because you're gay and asexual don't gonna, mean nothing, okay? I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm actually... Just a thing. She got caught. Yeah, she, she got caught. Got caught. I might <laughs> actually be scared about going to Atlanta with David because I feel a new sense of something on going on over here. Ooh, she's liberated. I know. So. She got to get her fucking cut along. We're loving this, David. The you competition is on. <laughs> I haven't, had a, I haven't had a drink in like three weeks, so maybe okay. like, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In, in a way, to sort of the, the way I, I kind of explain it, or I even ask him, is the difference between sexuality and sensuality. Let's use the example of a slumber party. Yes. Okay. Let's go there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I miss something? That was that was the episode. That was the episode. Remember the slumber party? Is that what did it? Yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway, that was rude of me. It was rude of you. It was slightly catty. That's nothing new. Okay, so I don't know how we got on. Like, we need to develop an app now for asexuals. Asexuals, not asexuals, but asexual. Asexual. An asexual dating app. There we go. I thought she said. I thought she meant a. Sexual, sexual dating app. No, we can A-spect. call it A-spect. A-spect. What? So, A-spect. But how is it? A-spect? But it's not a platonic friendship. Like aspect. What's that? It's not a platonic friendship app. Well, I mean, it can be. Sometimes that's what... That sometimes it's, it's full spectrum. It goes from strictly platonic companionship 
to Ooh. homo slash heteroerotic is like a whole other depth to. Yeah. I mean, there's just there's also like this is this there's we can talk for hours on this. There's right. like whole it's, it's like it's in like a it's spectrum. a three D sphere. It's a whole. I'm feeling like forty spectrum. Yeah. It's, oh, it's you, you, you know how there's the uh, it's a full three D sphere. Uh, bottom verse bottom verse top. Uh, all, all those David, are you are you a a yeah. Okay. Are so you we a, need a whole thing about. Are you a, a an asexual top? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's yeah. an asexual. What the fuck? I, I, I think, yeah, I think we just sexual. call it. I think we. I think we just call it a big spoon. Are you a big spoon or a little oh, spoon? Oh, I'm a big spoon. Oh, I don't know what that. Wait, am I asexual? Means. No. Well, well we can't answer. To me, we can't answer that for you. We, you have to answer. You have to answer that for yourself. Probably so. Yeah. If I jerk off to guys, what does that mean? Okay, just FYI, and this is probably more information than anyone ever needs to know. Many, many asexuals jerk off. Yeah, many, they do. Many, many do. So Maybe like, I'm some people just do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so sometimes I they I don't just understand what an asexual is. Then. I don't so want to have sex with another person. Mm-hmm. Right, but no sexual contact either. I don't want to have sex with another guy or another is female. It period. It's just that simple. I don't want to have sex with you. Now, I did. If you want to take your clothes off, I'll look at you all day long. But I'm not. Because you don't like navigating now, the difficulties. No, it's not, it's not no, even not that. even that. It's just not an attraction. It's, it's, it's no it. trigger for it. There's no attraction for it. It's a void where that's like you. That impulse to reach out and touch and interact with it is kind of it's not there not, for him. Where it stops right before that mm-hmm. impulse. Whereas some people, well, whereas some people like to make their starfish where everyone can see it. Others prefer. Others prefer not to make it seen and it, don't want to be a part of it. It just <laughs> winked at you. <laughs> but <laughs> all of you we're beautiful like, hollow queens out there. Wait, wait, like, but but <laughs> it, it, wait, so so no like, wait, hold on, hold on. I will say wait, this. Is there kissing? Hold on, hold on. I will. In, it, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole. It's a whole spectrum. Some I will inter- yeah. like that. Some don't. I will interject. I will interject with this because I did do. I mean, I did a lot of research. Oh, there yeah. are there you. are uh, some. Did you there. go to an asexual party? Did you have asexual sex with somebody? I don't think there's a, such a thing as asexual sex. Um, is actually, actually, <laughs> that's, I'm trisexual. That's a good point. Because you want to try it. If actually, that, <laughs> that is a good point. Definitely there like are person. some people of the asexual community who will do sex, but they do it simply because they want to satisfy their partner. Yeah, asexual time. But that's it. But they don't get any yeah, personal. Let me tell you, they don't get. They don't get any me. personal enjoyment out you know, of it. This that's called compromise. You know, yeah. it's like any other, Forget about the yeah. asexual mm-hmm. part. Any relationship is going to have a certain amount yeah. of compromise. And if you yeah. have a, a sexual person with an asexual person, there has to be some kind of compromise. Is there an there, asexual so. quiz I can take to figure out if I'm asexual? Probably. No. Probably so. Is there? There's um, likely something that will help you narrow it down. There's figure something there. Yeah, I can tell you. That, you know what? The best website. This is the website that really. Sparked my brain to kind of go into different directions. Mm-hmm. It's called Avon Asexuality cool. Visibility Asexual Visibility Education Network A V E N. Oh, and that one was the one that kind of set my brain into motion. It was kind of like, oh, it's the most credible, like least crud. Right, like, and there's a guy. Right, and there's of. a guy. His name is David J. He's kind of like he's short. He's DJ. We call him I DJ. saw him on, he's a, kind of on the, a video. The God, the authority. If you will, of, yeah, the authority, if you will, of mm-hmm. asexual. He considers himself a a uh, pan romantic mm-hmm. asexual. So, um, romantic. Mm-hmm. just like just pansexuals. guys, girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. dogs, third toasters, genders. third gender. Yeah, he has genders. an emotional attachment to inanimate objects. No, no he doesn't. Sexual. He he's cuddles asexual. with inanimate objects. Yeah. yeah, actually, his story is he's actually he's actually um, with a, in a relationship with another straight couple, and they have a baby together. The three of them have a baby together, but that's his whole thing. It has nothing to do with it. That website is the most credible website that kind of. Branch you into going different directions, and I would lurk in the um the they had like an old IRC chat room DMs, and I would lurk in the chat room just to kind of see what people oh, said and stuff. And it was just I remember kinda, that because I haven't been to that website in a long while. David so. did send me that. You did send me the information on that, and I watched we the entire it, video. We it was amazing. Can we actually close that network. information, please? Because that's important. Well, we did. Well, I think we know there's at least oh. one asexual person who listens to the show. But it's no longer there. Mm-hmm. So Isn't let's there? post it again. Didn't y'all get a comment one time? Thank you for was the dinner. Yes, was the there dinner was some person. That yeah, said thank somebody you. said it was thank so you. Informative. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there is that. at least one asexual person out there who's listening, and yeah. they hear yeah. this, and hey, you know, yeah. I mean, we, I, get in touch with them and get in touch with me. Yeah. But I'm not giving you my email address, so fuck you. Right. <laughs> but, um, if they look back, but they hey, should... David, you actually have a Twitter yeah. page, so um, if you want asexuals to reach you, why don't you do it on your Twitter page? 
I don't even know what it is. Yeah, David. Yeah, I doubt it's that. Yeah, yeah, we should. No, no. For fuck, I just said the slumber party. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you, you know what? It's not. Hey, no. But we masturbate like with other people in the room. I'm not going to. No, you're not going to. I'm not going to. At the intersexual party, I mean. No, neither are you. I would probably leave. Calm down. Calm down, Starfish. You haven't seen my Starfish. Calm down. Calm down. You're right. Trying to have sex with everybody. I think I was just feel, to see if it would no, work. No, I think I would feel comfortable around asexuals that I'd want to have sex with them. I feel like that you because they don't want to have sex with. Is that like something fucked so up? Hell yeah! No, that's like straight girls do to gay no, guys. Like I feel comfortable yeah, exactly. With them. No, so I feel comfortable with them because nobody wants to have sex with me. So I yeah, exactly. Sex. Right. Is that what you just said? Yeah. yeah. Straight girls, straight girls at a gay bar. trying to do that with yeah. gay guys. Straight girls at a at a gay bar. Maybe that's my thing. We'll go I'm hang a, out I'm at a, asexual bars. I'm a then. fake asexual. No, no don't. Wolf Elliot. You know the word to uh, so a teacher for? A... Elliot. That's my M.O. <laughs> okay, the so... wolf in sheep's clothing was a predator. I don't think that's yeah. asexual. So I'm going to throw this in here. No, I'm, 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 I'm playing that I'm asexual just so I can okay. get around it. Ooh, don't do that. Get so, ooh, this show does not endorse that at, at all. <laughs> catfish. No, we don't. Catfish. No, we do asexual not. Asexual catfish are here. Do not. Now that thanks to and I want to Fisherman Spunkmeyer reporting for duty, and I want to I want to thank. I was joking, by the way. Before I know. Out on I want to. I have to. You know the the age Skipper that we Spunk, live in now. Skip Spunkmeyer. Hey, Do you, you understand said, the age you said that we live in now? Is off limits. I know. Time I get in trouble. I know. And the funny thing is, is that <laughs> you don't get in trouble. I get in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did my job. Yes, he sure did. So the thing is, is that I want to yeah, earn that limited liability. I want to throw this out here. If <laughs> I want to throw this out here, and I want David to get this. Ah, throw David, it out there, David, to get this together. This look for <laughs> look for David White Ooh, on his out there. David White on his Twitter page. I just look at my, y'all aren't gonna believe this. It is like. I think I just was assigned something and I took it. Yeah. Did you hear him throw that? That doesn't sound very oh, yeah. asexual. I know. David. But if, if but if you're asexual, Are you a lot of hits? it's um, I'm looking at I'm looking at this. I think the David show is his only. Uh, okay, la, 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 so la, la, la. it's Bye. David White at David W H five six eight five three nine three. You bitch! I'm gonna change. <laughs> That's this. what I said. I just kind of so like I'm gonna just, change I'm gonna this. Just, I just took what they gave me because I don't follow that. But I that doesn't sound very okay. for a get true to your asexual to, roots, David. Yes, you're not supposed so to be taking it since we are going to make a post. Wait, about, what's your middle initial? R. Oh. Okay, since we're doing, uh, or we're putting it Did out there... Did you just okay us? Yes. So, <laughs> since we are putting the information out there for asexual, like, the pages and Again. God, let's put his his Twitter page out there oh, so people can famous. reach out to You're going to be the new authority yes. on asexuality, yes. David! Yes. So, yes. David, the punch of three! David, David Wise. Wise. Y'all suck. <laughs> you you <know>. do. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. Where? <laughs> I love you, David. I I need to rethink my world. <laughs> I know. You know, <laughs> the funny thing is, is that. I guess yeah, I we're gonna do. New, uh, let's 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 create a new page for David White or. Yes. For those, that. Do that. It says create new account. Create <laughs> his, <laughs> his computer literate. David, a- David the asexual. I, yes, I love that. I love David yes. at David the asexual. Yeah. Let's well, let's you could be, be our mascot, David. <laughs> the token asexual person. That doesn't exist yet, by the way. It will exist. It doesn't exist. Yeah, before but some, yes, before whatever, somebody does. You gotta, um, you gotta like really stick it up. Like when we start, like I would cuddle him so hard. What is it again? So what do y'all call it? David the asexual. David the asexual. David the asexual. The asexual. David the one word or under David. bars or what do y'all think? Under, under bars, like that little underscore thing. <laughs> No, don't put all that. No, just <laughs> why are you looking at me more like I, I see your brain like want to say something there? I'm just starfish related. <laughs> I'm trying to think what symbols you would use to put a starfish right in the middle there. Exactly. The A could be like. Is there a, one no, of the points? Uh, David the A there, section. There's a peach. I'll put underscore. No, don't put the damn peach on there. Or an eggplant. David the peach. No. David the peach. David the peach. <laughs> No, David. Oh, God. Capital P, then underscore, then the sexual. 
No, I think asexual has to be one word. Because if you word. split up a and sexual, <laughs> you get the wrong <laughs> message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the whole a point is the grouping of the a and sexual. All right. That's my uh, underbar. Oh, yeah. My God. Yeah, it's underscore. Underscore. What the fuck ever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. So I did we do... I think he's going to add a starfish to it. Hold on. <laughs> just, just playing with the phone. Look out. Oh, speaking of which, do you realize that there are now 380 new emojis for each what? and every individual person that you could possibly be? If you got the new iPhone. If you have the new iPhone. iPhone. Oh, I don't do iPhone. It's well, technology. They, they, well don't worry. It's for really those cool. of you who have Android, it will be coming to you soon, too. So don't worry. It's it well, will I'm be coming. Worried. I'm not worried. I that's mean, already, I have, that's already I have, there. With Android, you can get the middle finger well, in 50 different colors. You can get couples now. You can get couples, interracial couples. Icons for the middle finger? No, you, it's just optional. Once you set it, mm-hmm. it's set. It's yeah. set, yeah. You can get interracial you couples. So the if you're blind, you have blind emojis, but I don't Wait, understand that oh, one. So my, I don't. Nephew, my nephew the other day on, on Facebook, he mm-hmm. was like, uh, and he's got Crohn's disease, so he's familiar with this. Mm-hmm. He's straight. He's talking about having his finger up his ass, and he said that the next thing that popped up was this two gay sailors with a pride for the pride flag. And my and my, my my mother-in-law says, "Devin," he goes, "I didn't do it. It just popped up when I wrote that." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's crazy. You know the funny thing is, is this, Devin. <laughs> you know the funny thing is, is that I'm 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 glad we had this conversation because one, we're setting up an account for. You've been over there a long time, by the way, with my phone. I'm trying to find the starfish. He's trying to get you. Oh, you damn starfish alone. Two, let's... (laughs) Here is a five-second conversation. (laughs) Here's a five-second conversation on gays, Halloween, and the cultural appropriation. Oh, oh, but oh we yeah. Don't go to your Don't be Don't be that that long. Long. <laughs> Don't do blackface. Don't dress up as an Indian. We're done. Call it don't a day. Don't be a dick. Indian. Just, like, just like, don't be a dick. Like Native American. Native American. Native thank you. Indians are people from. Yeah. As you're saying in, in your yeah, appropriation sorry. speech Let's about. Say some people don't. Some people don't realize that. Black, being using blackface is considered racist. Some if you're a white man, if I'm sorry, if you don't understand, I'm sorry. If you don't understand that. Well, and, and I, I think one example, one example it. that came out was I would have it a little white boy running to Obama. Hold Here's on, my thing. Explain. When I said don't be a dick, I meant if there's a little kid and he's white and he wants to be Obama for fucking Halloween, don't be a dick and tell him he can't. But here's the thing, and, you know, and we can go back to... Uh, but there's ways to do it where he can be Obama, but well, just, just don't put hold this... Hold on, I'm just going back to um, mm-hmm. Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, and he was outed as having blackface, whatever, for uh, some parties back in his yeah. in his younger days. The, you know, back in... The, and, and, and don't I'm not excusing anything, so do not misinterpret what I'm fixing to say. I'm just kind of bringing something up to the point that... Then that wasn't considered racist back then. I mean, today it is, and I don't discount that one bit. But at the time when, you know, Justin Trudeau was wearing blackface, it wasn't considered racist. I mean, right. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not making excuses for him, but I mean, I don't think that, I think that. Do you remember the movie that came out, Soul Man? I don't think I was remember With, that. Um, where he, he, he can't get into college. So he takes a, oh, I remember that. Was, that. was that movie considered racist? I didn't see it. I don't know what it is. Uh, yes, I did see it. Was, it, did was you, it racist? Was that movie considered racist? Here is where that movie really made a turning point because at the time that it was made, it was very controversial. Can we explain yes. what the movie is <clears throat> And the movie is about a white kid, a rich white kid, who is too lazy to get into college, so he decides to darken his skin and wear a Afro, a, Afro, wig, Afro wig, a Jerry Curl wig at the time, and get into college. He gets into college. He takes college courses in African American studies. He starts to understand the life as a black person in college, and it changes him. It completely cha- now. It was done in a comedic way, but it it, it changes it. It was a comedy, and it started off as a comedy. But the more you got into the movie, the more that you realize, wait. Okay, now the intellectual side of me is mm-hmm. this. This is more of a. a, mm-hmm. a uh, 
I don't remember that part of it. I think this is more of a nod to um, affirmative, action. affirmative action than it is more. Just, I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know. I yeah. think that I mean, it's racist not, in that sense. It is, mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I'm not. I'm not here. Like I said, I'm not here. To, I'm not here to defend Justin Trudeau or anybody right. else who puts mm-hmm. nail polish on their face and wants to be funny. Right. I'm just saying, at the time yeah, we it did it differently at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and attitudes change, and for this to be held over someone's head because it was done 25 years ago, I don't think that's necessarily fair. Yes, but fair. how do now, you now today? If I were to do it, knowing what I know. That's a completely different yeah, thing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I think you have that. to take into account the intent behind the action. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Like, that, that was movie was Trudeau, too open Was he ice. intending to be racist or intending no. to no. no, no, no way. They were trying to no. make a point of, uh, y- you know, racism and, and, and all these cultural mm-hmm. things. Maybe in a complete different forum and in a complete different world at the, at the time. I think, honestly, when, we, when it comes to, and here's the problem. When it comes to Halloween, Halloween is supposed to be like the scariest time of the year, blah, 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 blah. We all dress in costumes, that kind of thing. To put certain races into that does kind of make it. How do you think witches feel? No, but but let's say, yeah, and let's say that I want to dress as an Indian guy from the village. Yes. Why why can I not dress as that? Because like if you were doing that, say any other t- from the, uh, the 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 group, the village, or mm-hmm. the, yes. the village people, yes. if, 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 because at Halloween, what you, at Halloween, you're making that a scary image, and that is the problem. No, no, yes, no. it is. No, no, Halloween, no, 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 no. yes. No, 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 no. When you, no, 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 yes, yes, you're making you're making North American version. You're making it a scary idea. No. When you do no, that, the fifties. I'm sorry, but when it comes to, and I'm an expert, by the way. Uh, thank no. you. <laughs> of, what? Of, 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 of the mo- of movies, especially from the thirties, forties, and fifties. We're not talking in about the, the 30s, 40s, na- na- No, 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 no. Native Americans in all those movies were the scariest people in those movies. They scalped you. They did they all this the stuff. They were, they were the antagonists okay. in that all those movies. That doesn't make them scary. Yes, though. it does. Yes, Wait, it we're does. Talking, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Yes, First of all, it no does. Well, that doesn't mean every, There's no more that voices. Mean but when it comes from the, 50s, from the 50s on yeah. up. I got when, what you mean. Indians we were the best. In, Indians, and I'm okay. going to use the word, the term Indian. Can we Indians. lower our voices? Why? Please, thank you. They were Native I'm Americans. To, no. Indians I'm going to turn, I'm going to use the term Indians from the 50s and 60s because that's what they were considered Indians. Hold on. So would Hold you, on. Just because black people were referred to by a lot of different names. But we don't use any of those because they're not appropriate anymore. Because the that one sect of people decided they didn't want to be referred to like that. So why would we now, in 2019, refer to Indians as Indians when we're, we're talking, talking about them portrayed in a fifty year in a fifty year old film because they were referred to as Indians back then? The the stereotype stereotypical portrayal so what you're of Native saying, Americans in those movies. So what you're saying is that. Dressing up as an Indian or a Native American is appropriate. Are you I didn't, I didn't are you dressed in traditional Pakistani but, wedding gear? No, Carlos because then you are dressed no, no, like no. Indian. No, 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 no. Is, the question is: Is it okay to dress up as a Native American? And I'm now? saying that has nothing. The reason why it's not okay has nothing to do with the way Native Americans were portrayed in the 1450s right. movies. The only it's thing because that you're I'm culturally saying, appropriating. Yeah. The yeah, Indian, exactly. The Native American right. dress, but at the same that time, is, that is sacred, but at the same time, Hall- Halloween Americans. is a time for dress up. Halloween is a time for spooks right. and ghouls so, and okay. so all that other stuff. Honoring your and, and, and long lost ancestors. At Halloween? That is not Why appropriate. Not? Why not? No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's have a cultural that's appropriation That is not appropriate. No, it is appropriate. Well, you if you were doing it, if you were doing it any other time, if you were doing it at any other yeah. time, except for, with the exception of, by the way, with the exception of the Day of the Dead, which is a Mexican holiday. No, it's a Hispanic holiday. Hispanic holiday. Is it is it a appropriation? A Hold on. Appropriation. Is it a Hispanic holiday all in Mexico or is it a Hispanic no, holiday it's in every most Spanish Latin, speaking Latin American no not Spanish speaking because Spaniards speak Spanish and, and they're not considered Hispanic. 
I mean, they're not considered uh, Latin, but um, every Latin American, most so of the Latin Puerto American Rico, country. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, yes. and all these other, Except yes. for Brazil, Peru, Peru, Peru yes, Bolivia. Yes. Now, th- this, this whole thing started back from the time of, of the Aztecs, mm-hmm. the Mayans, and whatnot, so where they would... Who were not you know, Native Americans. Who were, well, we're well, actually a well, form of Native Americans. Well, they are considered right. nowadays, uh, I call them indigenous, but mm-hmm. in reality, they're Native Americans, because right. this is... The continent yeah, of exactly. America. I know that we call America the I'm United a States. I'm a native. But <laughs> mm-hmm. so uh, it started back in in that era mm-hmm. where they would, you know, pay tribute to their yeah, exactly to, 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 to their no death. Kind of um, and so uh, that's a different. That's that's a different. That's a little bit of a difference. Kind of, unless you use that. And you want to pay homage to one of your True. ancestors, and all of the kids at school are dressed up in costumes, but you don't have a costume you want to be. You want to be this something else and celebrate both cultures in one, which is where we come up with costumes of our True. heroes, both ridiculous and silly. Marilyn Monroe, not a scary individual other than mm-hmm. her psychological yeah. report. Yeah, so exactly. let's say that you want to dress as a prostitute. But, Does that mean that we can't dress as no, prostitutes? No, no, no. Prostitutes are scary. Because because prostitutes may get offended. Okay, Let's think about that this. is you guys are missing the point. That is not the point. No, no, we're not when the you point. decide, we just to, have a different perspective. When you if decide, you no, 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 no. When you decide like to dress to, up, no. You when you dis- able to respect our perspective, what if I dress so, up as a so of if David wanted to dress up as Sheriff Bart for Halloween and put on the whole blackface thing. I'm supposed to respect that. I think I think if he's doing it from a, a respectful a standpoint, respectful we should standpoint. take that into consideration. No, we should take. It doesn't work that way. Because if you look at American history, it does not work that way. If somebody de- decides to dress, it does not, not like work that direction. way. Why would I back. take offense to that? No, it doesn't work that way, and I'm, I'm sorry, actually, it doesn't. I would actually not get offended if somebody were to try to, you know, dress as a aspect. If David White wanted to be Condoleezza Rice. I would not be offended. I, the thing I would is, call him Candy. But the thing is, you're you're white, so you don't know what you don't know what it's all about. You don't know why you, you're coming from a different viewpoint, right? If mm-hmm. someone if someone yeah, black is telling you that's offensive to them, you you can't understand then why. You're you have saying, to be that's sorry, but that, 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 that wasn't why it was meant. Really? So you're going to spend the entire Halloween explaining to every black person? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I, that wasn't the intent. No, because you, but no, 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 guess no, no. what? Nobody it's offensive. Take that on. What you, it's you, still offensive. What is offensive about it? Is what I'm. What is offensive it's offensive because Why? it's blackface. Okay, so now let me ask you: There are people so, out there that don't like themselves because they're white, and they would like to be black. That would be. Go, hold on, hold on. They go, they go I already know this story. To, <laughs> that to is that was the <laughs> former head of. That was the former head of so the NAACP of- from Washington from Washington State. Now, my question yeah. to you is: the- Would you be offended if somebody wanted to be black and they're not? And and if so, why would you feel that way? Hey, yes, I think that's offensive. Uh, that's offensive. If a person, if a white person wanted to be black, because here's why the thing: Why is black? that offensive? Is the perspective there? No, it's well, the well, fact no, that no, no, no. But you why? Can't just because. Being black is not just about your skin color. You being black is being raised black, and you have this whole you have this whole and what historical you wish, societal. You? What but, 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 okay, okay. so you will get offended by somebody that, that relates to black culture. So mm-hmm. Yeah, but to admiration. That do that, and that's wrong. Admiration. No, no, no. no admiration no of a culture is a, is, is a wonderful thing. But there's a respectful way to admire. it. But the thing is, is that yeah. with admiration comes all the crap that goes with it. Right. And if you don't understand all the crap that goes with it. You can't just say, you, okay, I'm black and I'm going to take all these wonderful aspects of being black. Mm-hmm. When you, you were, you're not black. You did not grow up black. You do not I don't, know what it's like to be black. I don't have. You can't I'm just sorry. switch it on and off. There might be maybe a couple of great aspects of being black as far as the community is concerned. Calm down. But when down. I. <laughs> Calm down, dude. What? Try <laughs> one, of, one of the other aspects of being black that's not that. That's, that's not that great. That's not that great. 
that's okay. not that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the because thing that's, is, that's big penis yeah, exactly. Is <laughs> but the thing is, is that no, yeah. I you didn't have oh, I'm sorry, I just was making sure. I can't here's it. here's something wonderful that happened that was <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> no, here's something so that happened that was so around with like a third dick. Is that offensive to somebody who actually has? I mean, a second dick or whatever. I'm oh, I've like, seen. I've seen this. I did. I've been seeing. I've only heard. I'm not even drinking. I mean, it's like if you walk this, around with. So this kind of reminds me of something. Like when you I was, know, when you I know. was in Sacramento a few years mm-hmm. ago for okay. over Halloween, they had a haunted house there, and it was it was basically an insane asylum. And on Facebook for their page, they had all these people writing in saying, "I'm so offended. My my brother is mentally ill, and you're making fun of him, and all that stuff." And I think, are we not supposed to make any movies about it's like standard insane comedians. asylums? Are we not supposed to make any scary movies because it, someone's it, always murdered it, by somebody? Yeah, so we can't that's the same thing and to I, say that you can't from, from do a cultural being, adaptation of a costume either. Being mm-hmm. a Mexican, because you're going to offend somebody. Coming from a culture you're always that was exactly, yeah. So we should quit being sensitive yeah. about it. Instead of making everyone else dance around everyone else's feelings. I think, it's good, feelings. Aware, I think it's good to be aware. I think it's good to be aware of what you're doing. Right, hundred percent, and it's good for and that whole admiration aspect. I think that should be taken into consideration. So, and and once no. again, that, that bounces so, around the fact that there's no respect for what my culture has to go through. And dancing you know, around my shit is exactly what you no, guys say no, no, all no, no, the no, no, time. No, no, what do you mean? I'm going to dance shit. around. Out. <clears throat> it, you're talking to, oh, as well to a mm-hmm. Hispanic that comes from We've done a this on an culture too. where we are, we came from slavery as mm-hmm. well. So... You will never see me talk about, uh, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that, or me. At a certain point in time, you have to let go of what, and, and I do understand that racism still exists because I have been, you mm-hmm. know, uh, attacked before in, in so many people here. At a certain point in time, you have to live your life and let the past be the past and not carry that shit with you mm-hmm. anymore. And I say that because I come from a culture that is quite similar mm-hmm. to yours. So I I pose this but, question but to you on sh- that. I choose not to leave live with Would that. it be okay but for somebody time. else who didn't come from that to say that? For me, yes. No. La, no, I, I, no, I, I let think me tell it you is. Something. Let me tell I'm you just, something. I, I, I rarely ever hear a Hispanic talk about How offense, of, offended we are about others trying to take on things about our culture. Right. We see it as an honor versus... An ode it. to or a, right. a feather and, in your cap. So, yeah, and, and, and although we are called wet bags and we're called this and we're called that and, and we all look the same and, and, and we're all... You guys have appropriated and, that into your culture. Into our culture. And, and taken it. all, all and, of the power away from it. Right. We have. And so... And I, I totally understand and I respect your opinion that I do have to say, but at the same time, coming from a s- quite similar background of discrimination, of slavery and whatnot, at a certain point in time, you have to let that go and, and move on from that. And, and I think the feelings for the black community are still way too present when they shouldn't be. Now, can I? However, I oh, do feel no, that you what about the Jews? Fight. Our time's up. Hold on. What about you the Jews? You should still continue to fight against racism and against. Uh huh. Wait, know, is this the end of the episode, or is it time for a break? It's past. It's past. Yeah, it's yeah. over. Yeah, it's over. So, but so, so how do we I feel about Jews is, in the Holocaust? And and I don't see them, you know. I mean, because Jews came stuff. from being slaves and then went through the Holocaust. Hey, thank you. It's time to end the show. I would love to have this conversation a little bit more. Uh-huh. And I'd like to save this for, like... Next week. No, yeah. not next week. I'd like to save this for, like, a little snippet of... Remember what we oh, said about gross. having, like, that extra little bit? Oh, yeah. so if they so, want to hear what we say, they have to subscribe yeah. to it. Oh. Thank you. End the show. Are we still recording? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Take us out. Fine. Take us out. Beep. Beep, beep. No. Um, <laughs> so look out for David's new social media. David underscore the underscore asexual on Twitter. 
Wait, you need it. Yeah, you need to upload your profile pic. But do a statue of David. As a profile <laughs> yeah, pic. I do that. <laughs> That's not exactly an <laughs> idea. That's okay. Good. So and for those that look don't out know for what the <laughs> David is, Michelangelo's the David because. David, David, everyone knows what the statue oh, of no, David is. Oh, no, no, no. Not everyone you. knows what the David is. Okay, well, David is Michelangelo's first okay, name. We're asking but questions about it. His name is David Michelangelo. It's, it's called the David. I know. That's not it. That's not it. Decker? No, put, that's the thing. Put, put David. We'll yeah. Or the David. Okay, yeah, so bye, bye, everybody. Anyway, like we're signing y'all. off. You know where to find Carlos. He's here often enough. CV photography. Yeah. <laughs> CV photography. We're not doing zero the David. Or CV. <laughs> no, no, no. Is it just Juicy Rose? Yeah. Yeah. We're not doing the David. All right. <laughs> we'll do the thinker. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm hey, Pinky. Hey, no. hey, Elliot, is there a space where people can reach you if they would like to talk to you about stuff? Not really. Like nerd stuff or any of that crap? Oh, Sp- yeah, Spunkmire Brown on Instagram. Yeah. At Spunkmire Brown. Hey, Pinky, if anybody wanted to come to talk to you about stuff that they wanted to talk to you about with fetishes and oh, that's starfish. Crazy. Starfish. And starfish. <laughs> Where would they find you, They, Pinky? they would find me at Pinky underscore M-A-U-5 underscore 85. You oh, need wow. to change your thing, Pinky. <laughs> Why? It's her thing. It's what? Pinky Mouse. And as far as David White is concerned, did we get him a new Yeah, play? David, yeah, we sure did. did. We're going to start sharing cake squashing, cake sitting as well. <laughs> well um, actually, David cake White is actually a, one of our assigned things that we like, you know. When you go to the it's website. David the to, Asexual. With under, David the Asexual. Cake emoji, cake emoji. Twitter. Right. There's like, when you go to the Avon website and you'll see like, we cake all the time, you'll see the cake emoji, it's like asexual. So it's not because you're just caking. Thing. It's like it's caking. It's not going to be it. the same thing as what you're. No, I think caking is just a notion. So it's David underscore the underscore, underscore asexual. Asexual. Yes. A lot of underscores, but hey, Sorry. reach David. No, is. <laughs> reach, reach out David. and touch David on touch, on Twitter. Okay. Touch David on Twitter. Hey, it and was a, a great episode. But don't touch him in his private place. Yeah. Yo, it was a great please. episode. We're gonna talk a little bit more afterwards because. We're going to give back. you some bonus episodes or Fudge? what have you. And <laughs> Pinky is going to lead us out with his famous thing. But up, but up. All right, y'all. If you ain't going to be good, be good at it. Be safe out there tonight if you're listening to this in the morning or the afternoon of Hall- Halloween. Everybody say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Good Goodbye. drink and drive, guys. Feliz Dia de Muertos. <laughs> Besitos. Good drink and drive, drive somebody else's car. <laughs>